So in this video, uh, we'll try to learn about the unified soil classification system. So uh, firstly, we'll try to understand uh, the background of unified soil classification system. Then, then we'll quickly uh, jump towards an example then uh, that uh, through example we'll try to learn that how we can basically classify fine grain uh, type of soil uh, so uh, let's start so uh, this was developed by Casagrande in 1942 for US Army and system is based on particles that are having size less than three inches so it means it does not deal uh, it does not deal with the particles that are having size uh, greater than th three inches so uh, it uses a uh, grain size distribution and plasticity index it means you you must have grain size distribution like percentage sand percentage gravel and percentage fines then plasticity of fines means liquid limit plasticity index and plastic limit so uh, there are three major categories uh, in which we can uh, divide soil particles so the first one is coarse grain soil so coarse grain soil is defined as according to uscs system uh, the if the percentage of passing uh, if the percentage of passing from sieve number 200 is less than 50 percent then the soil particles are termed as coarse grain soil particles and if uh, the uh, percentage passing of soil particles from sieve number 200 is more than 50 percent then it means uh, the soil can be categorized as fine grain soil then uh, the next uh, category is organic type of soil the soil which contains some organic content uh, is uh, known as uh, organic soil so this can be uh, this can be assessed by chemical analysis of the soil so uh, here you can see if the percentage uh, passing of soil from sieve number 200 is less than 50 percent then the soil can be termed as coarse grain soil and then uh, if the soil uh, uh, material is uh, uh, percentage passing of soil from sieve number 200 is uh, is greater than 50 percent then the soil uh, is known as fine grain soil so uh, the next uh, here are some symbols uh, like if you see gravel can be uh, uh, can be denoted by a G in according to USCS system then sand uh, with S served by M clay with C organic with O and PT stands for peat so so group symbol like SM sandy syrup and here you can see liquid limit symbols uh, if the liquid limit is more than 50 it means uh, the liquid limit is high and uh, here you can see the symbol uh, capital L so low liquid limit when liquid limit is less than 50 so gradation uh, W stands for well graded and p stands for poorly graded when the soil is uh, well graded and when the soil is poorly graded can be defined as soil is when uh, well graded when coefficient of curvature is greater than one but less than three and coefficient of uniformity is greater than or equal to four for gravels that it will be well graded soil but for sands if coefficient of curvature is between 1 and 3 and cu coefficient of uniformity coefficient is greater than or equal to 6 then 
the soil uh, the, the, then the sand will be well graded otherwise it will be poorly graded otherwise uh, means if if any one of these two condition does not meet or does not satisfied then the soil can be termed as poorly graded so in this way we can uh, categorize poorly and well graded soil so silty sand you can say can be expressed as a uh, group name silty sand is group name and uh, it can be expressed with sm any uh, means uh, group symbol sm so now uh, sw sc cl and ml here you can see uh, sw stands for well graded sand because w stands for well graded and s is sand similarly sc c stands for clay and s stands for sand cl uh, clay with low plasticity and high plasticity similarly so uh, here is some definition of grain size like uh, if the size uh, if the particles uh, which are re retained on sieve number four can be termed as gravel cobbles and boulders but the range is given over here if the size of particles is between 75 mm and 4.75 mm then the particles can be termed as gravel but the size of particle with the uh, with 75 mm and uh, 300 mm or you can say uh, if the particles are having size between 75 mm and 300 mm this can be categorized as cobbles and greater than 300 mm can be categorized as boulders now you can see the another fish here uh, the size of particle uh, between 4.75 mm and 0.075 mm can be categorized as sand. But there are uh, again uh, some uh, subcategories of sand like coarse sand, medium sand and fine sand. And you can see the range as well. If the range of particle size is between 4.75 mm and 2 mm, it can be categorized as coarse sand and if the size is between 2 mm and 0.425 mm then it can be categorized as medium and similarly if the particle size is 0.425 mm to 0.075 mm then it can be categorized as fine sand and the particles having size uh, less than 200 uh, uh, less than 0.075 mm then it can be uh, categorized as fine soil. Fine soil uh, uh, consists of two types, silt and clay, which can further be classified uh, as well. So, uh, passing number 200C, and if material passing 200C is uh, more than 50% if material passing sieve number 200 is more than 50% then it can be categorized as fine grain soil if material passing from sieve number 200 is less than 50% then it can be categorized as coarse grain soil so uh, uh, this is the chart you can see here uh, given by Casa Grande for fine grain soils only it means this chart can be used for fine grain soils and then uh, uh, this is the chart that can be used for fine grain fine grain organic soils and uh, this one is the chart uh, which is uh, used for the coarse grain soils so this is the plasticity or a line chart uh, given by Casa Grande so this chart can also be used to classify the soil we'll try to learn uh, through an example uh, in this uh, lecture we'll uh, we'll try to learn that how we can classify fine grain soil and in the coming lectures 
uh, we'll try to learn about the uh, how to classify coarse grain soil uh, according to USCS system. So uh, let's start with an example like there are different types of soil. Uh, we'll try to solve uh, example one. Uh, the others you can do by yourself. So uh, for soil A, uh, for soil A, sieve number four passing material is 80 percent. It means uh, from sieve number four, uh, 80 percent material passes. Then further from sieve number 200, 52 percent material passes, and liquid limit is 30 and plasticity index is 8. No. Uh, firstly, in the first step, we need to determine whether the soil is fine or coarse. So you can see uh, the material passing from sieve number 200 is 52 percent. It means the soil can be categorized as fine grain soil because it is greater than 50 percent. Now we'll move towards the chart. Now we will select the chart. Uh, that can be used for fine grain soil because our soil is fine grain. So now firstly we'll have to check what is the liquid limit. So liquid limit is less than 50 so we will select this one. Now uh, it's an inorganic soil uh, again it can be checked uh, by the um, by uh, you can say from chemical analysis or Casey Grandi chart as well. So from the chart you can see our plasticity index is 8 and liquid limit is 30. So we'll draw this line like this and here we will select that this point lies above the A line. This is A line. So if the point lies above A line and if the soil is inorganic then it means our soil type is clay, not OL. OL is for organic soil. So that is why we'll select the soil type as clay. Now further, we'll again move to that chart and you can see here. Now we'll have to check what is the plasticity index. For this plasticity index is 4 to uh, 7. But in our case, plasticity index is more than 7. So we'll move towards this point. Now, in the next step, you can see the soil type is clay. So before moving uh, ahead, we need to determine the percentage sand, percentage gravels as well. So uh, the liquid limit given is 30 and plasticity index given is 8. The soil type is clay. Now, and the, the, these are the specifications of this soil type. Now percentage sand and gravel. You can see fines are 52%. Uh, gravels are 100 minus 80. So 20% are gravels because from sieve number 4 passing material is 80%. So the material that is retained on sieve number 4 is 20%. So that is gravels. Now sand. 80 minus 52 it means percentage sand is 28 percent so now uh, we'll move towards this uh, graph again here you can see uh, after uh, reaching here now we need to specify here you can see the if the material is uh, passing uh, sieve number 200 is greater than 30 percent then we'll select this one and if the material passing sieve number 200 is less than 30 percent then we will move toward this point now in our case there are 52 percent fines it means material passing uh, number 200 so there is uh, sorry uh, on 200 sieve the material is uh, more than 30 percent retained so the the meaning of this is material retained on sieve number 200 is greater than 30 percent so 
exactly in our case there are 52 percent finds that uh, th that are the that is the percentage of material passing sieve number 200 now 48 percent material is retained on sieve number 200 so it means 48 percent material is retained on 200 so this condition is satisfied according to this condition plus uh, greater than or equal to 30 percent plus number 200 means that if the material 30 percent or more is retained on 200 then you will have to select this one if the material retained on sieve number 200 is less than 30 percent then we will move toward this in our case 48 percent material is retained on sieve number 200 so that is why we will move towards this point now we need to select whether the percentage sand is greater than gravel or not so in our case you can see percentage uh, sand is 28 percent and percentage gravel is 20 percent so we'll select this point you can see here this point because percentage sand is uh, greater than percentage gravel so in the next you, you need to select one of these option so here you can see our percentage gravels are are greater than uh, or less than uh, 15 percent so you can see uh, in our case percentage gravels are 20 percent so it means percentage gravels greater than or equal to 15 percent so we'll select this point and now we'll move towards this point sandy lean clay with gravel so our soil type is uh, symbol is cl and soil type is sandy lean clay with gravel or you can say the group name sandy lean clay with gravel so this is how we can classify fine green type of soil using a uscs classification system so these are some specifications no, uh, so uh, and this is how we basically uh, can classify the uh, soil using uh, USCS system. So in this uh, lecture, we have only discussed about fine grain soil. So in the coming lecture, we'll try to learn about the uh, classification of coarse grain soil using USCS soil classification system. Uh, so. Thank you for watching and take care.